Boss it. Boss it. All right. Anyone on TikTok knows the trend. Let me just get this out there. Um, about my period, all I've eaten today is a piece of old pizza and two chocolate chip cookies, and I'm breaking out, and I feel like, uh, you know what? Boss it. Boss it. Mm -mm. Okay, energy is positive. The energy, we're vibing. Here we go. <sighs> Welcome back to my channel. My Welcome <laughs> back to my... I need to practice how I want to do that. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Rayanne. I am a curve model, fashion blogger, digital entrepreneur, and I am so glad you're here. If you haven't yet, please hit the subscribe button. I am new-ish to YouTube, but I have a video going up rain or shine, no matter what in 2021, every single Sunday. In today's video, I am sharing practically every single thing I use on my hair. I get a lot of questions on my hair and I'm always like all over the place. So I'm gonna make one video where I share everything I use and why. The Rayan Langus Hair Bible. Before we get started, it is my duty to tell you that I think my camera keeps sliding down. <laughs> Hold on. Is it sliding down? I think it's sliding down, but it's okay. One day I'll have a really cool photo studio to shoot YouTube videos in, but for now, I'm in my parents' basement. I got distracted by the camera, so sorry. Background on my hair. I am not a natural blonde. Well, I was a blonde when I was a little kid. Does that make me a natural blonde? Like when I was little, little, I had a little blonde straight bangs and bob. I was so cute. But now my hair is like this brown, brown color and I dye it blonde. And I've been dyeing it blonde for like four or five years now. And I think I might be going back to brown soon because I do think the bleach is leading to a lot of breakage. And you're like, no, Ray, your hair looks amazing. Thank you. I bought it. These are extensions, baby. I will go link to who I go to in uh, California to get my extensions put in. Um, the brand is Easy Hair, and they're ta I have the tape-ins. So they look like, let me find one, little two-inch chunks of hair that are all over my head like everywhere. So, anyway, those are the extensions that I have. And I, oh, do I wanna go into extensions on this? Here, I'm gonna give you a very quick synopsis of the extensions. What I love about them is, I mean, look at, my hair has never been this long. I style my hair less, cause when I style it, it lasts longer. The cons are, when you wash your hair, it's like a whole to do. Cause you gotta get like in between each and every extension. Also, just having them moved up like every six or eight weeks is just like another thing on your to-do list, which is kind of annoying. And it takes forever to like blow dry and style. But I wash and blow dry and style my hair less now that I have the extensions. If they're installed properly by someone who knows what they're doing, they shouldn't damage your hair. I have not seen my hair without them yet, so I can't speak to if I think that they've done damage or anything, but I'll keep you posted. But I absolutely love, love, love them so much. Now let's get into the video. I will start with what I do before I wash then we'll go into the washing and then we'll go into the post washing and the styling. So buckle up, baby. Before I wash my hair, I use the Olaplex number three. Repairs and strengthens all hair types. If you are going blonde, my hairdresser is like, if I don't use this, she knows. And she's like, you haven't been using your Olaplex, have you? And I'm like, no. Oh. Like if you wanna go blonde, you have to be using this. I use it once or twice a week. It is so, so good for your hair and keeps it strong so that you can stay going blonde. So that's before I wash my hair. I just wet my hair and put the old plex in and then it's shower time, okay? So we're in the shower and I'm about to run you through my shampoo and conditioner. I'm gonna seem really high maintenance, okay? When my hair is feeling gunky and like my scalp, I do get a dry scalp. I really like this Amika Reset Exfoliating Jelly Shampoo. 
Um, the girl who does my extensions recommended this to me. Uh, this is really great if you get a scalp that feels like it has a lot of buildup and gets itchy and gunky. I use this. I bought the Day Shampoo and Conditioner because honestly I just really wanted to try it and I really, really like it. It smells amazing. It leaves your hair, 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 leaves your hair looking nourished, feeling super hydrated. And I think it's just a real, a great basic shampoo and conditioner. Easy Hair, which is the brand of my extensions, gifted me their shampoo and conditioner, which I have been testing out the past week, week and a half. And I really like it and I wanted to be sure to share it because this is made for double processed hair. So if you're going blonde and if you um, have extensions. So it is good to look into getting like the shampoo and conditioner that's made for extensions because sometimes if you use like a very like super conditioning or super, I don't know the right word, I'm not a hairstylist, this is what my hairstyles have told me. It can weigh down the extensions and um, there can be like a lot of buildup at the extension. So I have the Nourishing Shampoo and Conditioner and I think it's called Blond Blenden? Blonden? I don't even know. But this is a good option if you're blonde and getting extensions or if you're just looking into getting the extensions in general. Check these out. Lastly, this is the Purple Shampoo. It is... Fanola No Yellow. This one is really affordable. You can get it on Amazon and this is the one that my hairstylist recommended to me and she is like, she is very serious. Like if she sees me doing something with my hair, or using something, she'll send me a DM and be like, what are you doing? So like if these are approved by her, I trust her so, so much. This is a good yellow, no yellow shampoo. So um, your hair doesn't start to look brassy. We don't want to look brassy. So that's what I do in the shower. Okay, okay so we're out of the shower now. Um, we got wet hair. You're going to put it, I put it in this aqueous microfiber hair towel. Regular towels can be really harsh on your hair and lead to breakage. It's like the weakest when it's wet. So a microfiber towel is just more gentle on your hair. You can also use like an old cotton t-shirt or something if you don't want to buy a microfiber towel. After that, I use this Prep Rally Prime and Prep Detangler from Dry Bar. I'm almost out. So I like this one because it's a detangler and heat protectant in one. So I just spray it all over um, and then it makes brushing out my hair a lot easier. And then it's also got the heat protectant for um, if I blow dry or use a curling iron. And this, oh, I should have really cleaned this brush out. Gross, gross, let me just clean this out for you, okay. This is my favorite, favorite brush to use on wet hair or even dry hair. Um, I like it a lot, but wet hair especially. I really want to comb my hair with anything else but this. You do have to be careful with your extensions that you don't snag it, but when my hair is wet, I just work from the bottom and work my way up at detangling my wet hair. Could not live without it. So now we got wet hair, it's brushed out. Maybe I should have like taken you along in the shower with me. That would have been like a probably more entertaining. No, that's too much work. I'm not doing that. Right now our hair is clean. It's wet. It's brushed out. This is the T3 Cura Lux blow dryer. I had been using the same up until like when I got this probably two, a year ago, maybe longer. I had been using the same hair dryer since I had from like high school and college and my hair was just it was frying my hair it was so frizzy and my friend came to visit me and she had a t3 hair dryer and i used it and i could knock it over how like soft and silky my hair was i was like threw my hair dryer away so fast i was like i've got to get a new hair dryer so i really like this one i know the dyson is like all the rage and I have not tried the Dyson, so I cannot speak to how this compares to the Dyson, but it's more affordable than the Dyson. So it's got 
all the good doodads. Temperature, you can do it on high or low, so I'll blow dry my whole head on high, but when I do my bangs, I'll do it on low. And it is kind of cool when you set it down on your countertop, it turns off. I don't have an issue with it. Whenever my friend borrows this, it keeps turning off while she's blow drying her hair and she gets really annoyed and I'm like, this has literally never happened to me. So I don't know how you're holding it or how you're blow drying your hair, but it seems like a personal problem to me. So I usually just rough blow dry my hair, except for my bangs. I use, again, I need to clean these brushes out before I show you, it's just gross. I use this paddle brush from Olivia Garden to do my bangs. Olivia Garden is the brand of brushes that my hairstylist recommended. So when I do my bangs, I just blow dry them back and forth with the, until they're almost dry. And I have a tutorial on this on my IGTV that I will link in the description of the video. When my bangs are longer, like they are now, like I need to get them cut, I use this round brush from T3 and I just do like shh, like this to give them that swoopy effect. But when they're shorter, I use this smaller round brush, which is also from Olivia Garden. You can see it's much smaller in comparison. And this just gives me, I'll go in like this and again I'll link this tutorial that's in my oh that's gonna get stuck on my Instagram and that gives me more of like a curl in the front but it really only works when my bangs are a little bit shorter than they are now I need to get them cut hair is flying everywhere <laughs> so once my hair is rough dried and also my bangs are done it's time to curl my hair god this sounds like the most high maintenance hair care routine ever known to man. I have this T3 curling iron with the base and then it comes with three different size curling, iron, curling irons um, and I like it because based on how I do my hair I use two of them very frequently. Um, when I want loose curls like this I use the one and a half inch barrel that's pretty big um, and it gives you just looser um, more relaxed curls and when I do my tighter curls usually when my bangs are shorter and I like it to be more full and fluffy I use the one and one four one point two five one fourth that is the same thing guess who got a C in college algebra <laughs> okay we're cranking through this this is pretty good and once my hair is all curled oh my god this is open I almost just spilled this everywhere and this is like pure gold. This is the Gisu Honey Infused Hair Oil and I have tried quite a few hair oils and I haven't liked any of them because I feel like they make my hair greasy but this one has a much thicker consistency. I'll try and show you. It has a much thicker consistency almost like honey and um, it just leaves your hair looking super nourished and refreshed because when your hair is dry it looks brittle and not healthy and that's a problem that blondes tend tend to have their hair starts to look dry and brittle so this hair oil i could not recommend enough and then the other finishing touch is the gisu hair perfume this smells so subtle so fresh and it's just that extra bit of oomph. I try to wash my hair less. I only wash my hair about two times a week. And dry shampoo, you use it and it makes your hair not look greasy. It's amazing. But like, not, I don't want to say that my hair smells, but like it's not like freshly washed. And this just helps like refresh it so it looks good and smells good on day two, three, four until it's time to wash it again. So I highly, highly recommend that. I almost forgot dry shampoo. As someone who works out a lot and also gets very sweaty when I work out, after my workout, I take my hair down right away and just let it either air dry or blow dry. But before that, I put on this Bumble and Bumble post-workout dry shampoo and you just spray it on the wet parts and then as it blow dries and air dries, um, it really helps to revive your hair. 
and then I'm out of it right now and I threw out the can, but for dry shampoo, I love Briogeo for their dry scalp. It's a black owned company and their products are just so beautiful. The packaging is beautiful. It's not an aerosol, it's like a little ch -ch 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 -ch, and you squeeze it on and it works amazing. The other dry shampoo I also like is just from Target or I think you can get it anywhere. It's the Batiste, just the original one in the blue bottle. That one works great as well and it's a little bit more affordable. Oh, okay. I keep thinking we're done and then I'm like, there's more, there's more. When you have extensions, Sorry, I'm cleaning out this brush again before I show you. This is just getting out of hand. When you have extensions, having a bore bit bristle brush is a must have. And Easy Hair Pro sent me this one. And I, this is my favorite brush. Like it works to help blend your extensions in with your natural hair. I just do like a little of that. And also it, you don't have to worry about it snagging on your extensions because it's like the boar bristles and then it has um, some of the plastic ones sticking out. But this is my favorite brush. I love it so much. Other than that, I uh, use the silk slip hair ties and scrunchies because um, those are supposed to be good for your hair. Um, and I think that about covers everything in my current hair care regimen. I don't even know. But I always love trying these stuff. If you have any hair products that you love, 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 cannot live without, please leave them in the comments below because I want to try them. That, I think, is officially everything that I have to share with you. So drop your favorite products in the comments below. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Thank you so much for giving me your time. I so appreciate you um, and I'll see you next Sunday. Love you all. Bye from me and my zit. Okay. <laughs>